I like memes. You like memes. Let's watch some memes. All right, I'm gonna make this one quick because I burned the roof of my mouth eating Little Caesars last night. I, I don't know what you're gonna tell me. Little Caesar is nasty. Look, man. Little Caesar is amazing when you don't have a bitch in your ear telling you that it's nasty, okay? Without any further ado, next. All right, so our first uh, victim right here is a fucking retard who not only is wearing one of the ugliest shorts I've ever fucking seen, but he's also walking in the snow in shorts. And he thinks he gets any warmth with his hoodie. Now, listen, I know some people are like this, but this is only okay in the spring. Like, I'll let it go in the spring, but anywhere else, uh -uh. not even in the summer, bro. He always got that one white dude. His name is probably Albert or something foreshadowing and he decides to wear shorts in 20 degree weather please don't do this please don't be this one guy because I'm gonna roast the hell out of you and the caption says doesn't matter how cold it gets there's always be that one guy <sighs> I'm sipping tea right now uh yeah, you don't see this shit in Trenton. Mm -mm. You get roasted the fuck up. Us Hispanics and black, we don't we don't deal with this shit. As soon as it gets cold, bitch, we wear uh, sweats. We don't put on shorts. Because, you know, once we put on shorts, they're going to try to rob us. Right? Uh-uh. Hell no. I also um, forgot to tell you guys that I'm gonna. I have a lot of 2012 memes because you know, 2012 was the best year. Don't quote me, okay? Um, so this is a 2012 meme, and uh, 20 meme. But anyway, any further ado, let's let's just start with this shit. Uh, Happy New Year, bro. 11:59. Uh, zero hundred, zero hundred one. And the dude is like giving a thumbs up at like zero hundred. <laughs> See, this used to be so true, but now it's like, bitch, we better fucking have a good year. Shit, 20, 2020 was no joke, bro. We all almost died. I keep on making fucking 2020 jokes, man. Bro, what the fuck? Okay. Could you, could you guys believe we used to be this nonchalant before? Now, like, we're like, we hope 2021 will be better, but like, it's like, it's not. It's really not. Ugh. And I, now I see memes like, oh yeah, 2021, oh no, 2020 was like two masks for the zeros. The, the one in 21 was a, a, a vaccine needle, and then 2022 is like well, the World War Z <laughs> logo. The two is a Z on the, on the, on the, on the, Two, the end, the end of the two, and it's, I'm like, whoa, calm down, calm out there, calm out there. Next, this show wasn't really that funny, but I, yeah, whatever. All right, so this one says, uh, so it's 2012, looking at 2020 and 2020, saying I noticed you've copied my style. Oh wait, I think it's the other way around. So, little like history lesson: the Aztecs. Pretty much said the world was gonna end twenty twelve. And some putos believed that. And they made a whole movie about it. And the movie was it was mediocre, okay? And the movie was alright. It was alright. Um I saw another one that was like really funny, it said it was 2020 looking at 2012 saying that's how you start an apocalypse and then smack the fuck out of him. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I thought 2020 was going to be bad right from the start. Just when uh, Trump killed the top Iranian uh, general. I'm like, yep, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> World War fucking 3, 5, and 6. 
My bad. Three, four, five, and six. Hell no. Next. All right, this one didn't really have a caption, so I made one. People with tall gums ever warn you before they laugh and show you the second story of their townhouse mouth. You don't know how many times, and it's usually females that I see it on. You know how many times I've seen women, and don't quote me on this because it's true, though. I've seen them smile, and then they end up having a second story up there, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it's bad enough I have to deal with your attitude, but I'm going to be staring at your fucking t uh, second story the entire time. I'm like, damn. And I really don't know what's worse. <laughs> the Edgar haircut or the second story gums. You decide. Next. All right, whoever made this, you're going to hell. I like how everything made from China is terrible. There is no debate. You get a shirt from China, that shit's going to last you for about a month. You get a virus from China, that shit lingers on for another fucking year. Maybe two years if you're lucky. We got xenophobic motherfuckers calling the fucking virus the Kung Flu. Like Chinese kids next to you start coughing. And then the caption on the bottom says, we're all going to die. Now that's fucked up. <laughs> you're fucked up. Okay, but that shit is funny as hell. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, next. Uh, 2012. I don't even fucking miss this shit. <laughs> I don't miss that year at all. 2012 was literally the year of party rock anthem. I like how it was so simple back then. Now you got some shit like when you walk and it has like a fucking cat on it. <laughs> It's so hard to roast this dude because, like, he already does it for himself. You know, this is harder than I thought. Roasting 2012 memes is, like, so simple. It's, like, so hard. It gives me a migraine that it's just so simple. I don't know how to roast you because I don't have a pet rock. I guess Patrick could. I guess Patrick could. But not me. I, I collected rocks and I, and I threw them at my neighbor's car. You know, I feel like Bad Luck Brian is that one kid in your neighborhood that your mom forces you to play with just because she feels bad for him but you're just using him for his ps2 and this kid has all the good game next you know this is so true right here angry parent explain yourself kid gives a valid reason furious parent not knowing what to say how dare you talk back to me and it's like what do you want me to say like if i talk to you if i tell you my valid reason i'm talking back but if i don't i'm ignoring you so what the hell is it and it's not even that. It's like, it's literally when they come back from getting groceries and they have a big shit ton of groceries in the fucking backseat of a SUV. And they're like, come help me. You put on whatever the hell shoes you need. It could be your, your mom's heels. It could be your dad's uh, uh, dress shoes. And you come out that goddamn door feeling uncomfortable as hell. And they're like, really? You took so long. I don't even need your help no more. So you're like, oh, all right. So you turn around. They're like, really? You're not going to help me? So they make you turn around and they say, no, no, no. I got it. It's like that one it's like that one video that I saw on Facebook. And I hate it. Now, let me not go as hard because I know damn well I'm going to be that furious parent in the future. Next. Skin cute couples in public. They're holding hands. I want them dead. Sounds like this bitch is single and that bitch is me. You know that saying that goes like, it really be your own boys? It, it, this is the sa exact same because all my friends that I've known, when they had girlfriends and I'm third wheeling, they end up almost having sex right in front of my eyes. I kid you not. I think I saw someone's pussy one time. Third wheeling with your friend and his girlfriend will have you playing with a fucking suitcase in Burlington. How do I know? I was that vato yesterday, bro. I was the vato playing with the suit because they needed something for their pet hedgehog. I don't give a shit. I just want to leave. I'm hungry. I am fucking starving. I will kill you both. <laughs> but then I saw a suitcase and I'm like, yo, this shit smacks. All right, so we made it to the last meme and this shit is already making me crack up. You know how much shit you have to deal with when you wear one of these fucking costumes? It is incredible. This dude just had it with this bitch and she said, come here, I'm going to peek a peek at your ass right now. This dude got so mad, he started, he grew a fucking arm and said, come here, bitch. This Pikachu said, get over here, bitch. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Now, the real question is, what are you going to do if you roasted this motherfucker and he decides to grow an extra limb out of his mouth and tries to choke you to death? That's tragic. You know, by looking at the picture, I feel like she deserves it just because she's wearing, she has like pink hair. 
if you come up to me and you have pink hair, I know damn well you better piss me off. But yeah, I think that concludes everything with uh, myths. This episode of myths. Uh, love you guys. Catch you in the next episode. Peace. Suitcase. Okay.